kids, welcome to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And I'm here for the value bargain sale. The what? The value bargain sale. I'd like to buy a new skateboard, please. Bright blue with flaming marshmallows on the sides. Uh, Larry, there's no sale here. But the sign said VBS. Everybody knows VBS stands for Value Bargain Sale. No, it doesn't. VBS is all about... Video body surfing? <laughs> no, uh, that's not it either. Vigorous blubber sharks? Larry! Very big sausages? Hey, kids, do you know what VBS stands for? If you said Vacation Bible School, you're right. Oh, so it's about getting to know God. And having a great time in Veggie Town. Wow. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it is. A lot more fun than vicious banana slugs. Good one, Bob. Well, goodbye, kids, and have a great time in Veggie Town. Yeah, see ya. Why couldn't VBS stand for Voluptuous Buffalo Sing Along? Bob? Bob? Okay, Larry. Yeah, Bob? It's time for the song. What song? You know, the song about that place the boys and girls have been visiting every day. You mean the restroom? Uh, no, I mean that special place where they play games, learn Bible verses, and have refreshments. That place where they watch us on TV and learn important lessons. Hmm, can't be the restroom. The TV in there is broken. I pulled the handle, but no picture came on. Larry, I'm talking about Veggie Town. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the Veggie Town Municipal Anthem. If you'd like some contests and prizes, if you'd like to share a smile, meet new friends of all shapes and sizes, learning good things all the while. Have we got a place for you? Veggie Town, Veggie Town. Stop! Cut! Hold it! Ten feet tall? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know, but it rhymes with mall. Larry, the Veggie Town anthem is supposed to make sense. Sorry, I'll do better the next verse. Things are cool at the school. Please don't drool. Veggie Town. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop! Please don't drool. Larry, that's worse than ten feet tall. Um, don't worry, Bob. I got the next verse covered. At the church, you will search for your perch. Cut, cut, cut. Larry, you will search for your perch? Well, I wanted to use perth, but it didn't rhyme. Never mind. Let's just finish the song, okay? Okay. There's never, ever, 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 ever been a place like Veggie Town. There's never, ever, 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 ever been a place like Veggie Town. It's time for Veggie Town. Uh, Bob? Yeah, Larry? How about, you will search for your wallet? Uh, right, Larry. Well, kids, at least he got one line right. It is time for Veggie Town. Have fun! Hey kids, welcome to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. 
Today, we want to help you find your way around Veggie Town. There are so many exciting things to see, so I got this map from the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, uh, I don't need a map. I know Veggie Town like the back of my hand. Larry, you don't have any hands. Oh, that explains why I get lost every time I leave my room. Uh, according to this map, the Veggie Town School is down this way, and the church construction site is over that way, and the playground is over here. Oh, I love the playground. That's where I do my best work. You work at the playground? In the sandbox. I just dig, 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 deeper and deeper and... Ow. Say, Bob? Yeah, Larry? Could you throw me that map? Why? I think I'm lost again. Well, don't you forget your maps, kids, and have fun discovering the neat places in Veggie Town. Hey, kids, welcome to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And today, we'd like to tell you about the... Um, excuse me, Bob. What is it, Larry? Exactly, where are you? Well, I I'm standing right next to you. Where are you? I'm next to you, I think. Wait a minute. Larry, I can't see you. I can't see you either, Bob. Oh, no. We're... Invisible! Ah! <laughs> This is terrible! How can we show kids around Veggie Town if they can't see us? Uh, maybe we could wrap ourselves in bandages like the Invisible Man. Or cray paper. Except then we'd look like piñatas. Larry, how did this happen? Um, well, remember when we went to the beach yesterday and you wanted me to bring the sunscreen and you said it was on the counter in the yellow bottle? No, it, it was the white bottle. Oh, well... I brought the yellow bottle. Larry, that was vanishing cream. You're supposed to put it on those horrid age spots. Oops. Well, if we had any age spots, they've disappeared. But so have we. How are we going to get back to normal? Um, well, did you ever see Peter Pan? Uh, Peter Pan? Well, why? Well, when Tinkerbell was fading away, all the kids in the audience had to concentrate really hard to bring her back. So, maybe if the kids here concentrate as hard as they can... They can bring us back? It worked for Tink. I guess it's worth a try. Okay, kids, we need your help. Concentrate as hard as you can on bringing us back. You can do it, boys and girls. That's it! You're doing it! Except for maybe that kid in the last row. We're coming back! I can feel it! We're back! I can see you, Larry! Thanks, kids! Uh, Bob? Yeah, Larry? Why is my voice coming out of your mouth? Ah! We're back, but we're reversed! I kind of like it this way. It's not easy being green, you know. Well, kids, we'll work this out. You go ahead to Veggie Town. We'll catch up. Catch up? Is that a tomato joke? Welcome to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. I'm running for president. You can't run for president. Why not? Well, you're a cucumber. So, Jimmy Carter was a peanut. He was not a peanut. He was a peanut farmer. Oh. Besides, you can't run for president with a shoe on your head. It's a running shoe. Who would vote for you? Well, I would. And so would the kids out there. Maybe. Sorry, Larry. You'd need more votes than that. Well, I know. I'll run for mayor of Veggie Town. My fellow citizens, as mayor, I will put a chicken in every pot, a turkey in every toaster, a penguin in every refrigerator. Stop! Hold it! Free waffles for the kitties? Larry, Veggie Town is about important things like forgiveness and doing what's right. We're here to learn about God's values. Hmm. A mayor is an important job. I guess I better learn, too. That's right. So let's get to it. Yeah. And remember, kids, a vote for Larry is a vote for me. Nice slogan, Larry. Uh, one more thing. Yeah, Bob? 
lose the shoe. Oh, right. Uh, hi, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato, and... Please, Bob. Call me Larry Boy. Uh, okay, uh, Larry Boy. Uh, kids, welcome to Veggie Town, where we talk about real problems you might face in your own life. Uh, Bob, I'm facing a problem in my own life. W what is it? I'm stuck on this wall! That's not the kind of problem I'm talking about, Larry. As I was saying, kids, uh, problems like choosing between right and wrong, accepting and forgiving each other, and helping each other. Bob, did you say helping each other? I certainly did. Well, I'm in each other, so would you help me down from here? All right, Larry. Kids, let's help Larry. You'll need to dislodge his surface tension apparatus. What? They'll have to wiggle back and forth in their chairs until you get unstuck. Oh. Okay, kids, start wiggling! Ouch. Thank you. Good work, kids. And now it's time to go to Veggie Town. Um, I have another problem, Bob. What's that? I've fallen and I can't get up. That's wonderful, Larry! Wonderful? Why? Well, that's a dilemma anybody can relate to. Then I feel better already. Uh, Bob? Have a great day in Veggie Town, kids. Don't worry, I'll be on my feet in no time. Or I would if I had feet. I'll be there shortly. Actually, Bob will be there shortly. I'll be there totally. Larry? Yeah, Bob? Try not to talk. Okay, Bob. Welcome to Veggie Town, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. I'm very disappointed. Why? Well, these kids are having fun in Veggie Town. Well, they're supposed to. No way. They're supposed to learn about serious stuff. Well, we can learn serious things and have fun at the same time. No, we can't. Instead of having a boring time, you kids have been doing cool stuff. I mean you. Well, not you. The one next to you. The one with that thing in your hair. What is that, anyway? Larry, well, you're just jealous because you haven't gotten to do anything. Could it be you're green with envy? That's easy for you to say. Well, what if you do an activity today? Could I? How about it, kids? If you think we should let Larry play a game, stop your feet. I'll take that as a yes. They were just squashing spiders. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Just a second. Now what? I brought my mitt out for the game. But, but Larry... Oh, never mind. Kids, I know you're gonna have fun today. And learn, too. So put on your oven mitts. Uh, I, I mean your thinking caps. And let's head for Veggie Town. Bob, maybe they were just smashing pumpkins. Ooh, I hope not. This is the city, Veggie Town. A lot of veggies live here. Sometimes they get in a jam, or even a relish. When that happens, they call me. My name is Larry. I carry a badge. I should probably pin it on my shirt, except for I'm not wearing a shirt. I guess I could pin it on my, ow! Forget that. Larry, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Bob. I was just welcoming the kids to Veggie Town. Welcoming them? It sounded like you were trying to scare them away. Sorry. I'll try again. Imagine, if you will, another dimension. A dimension of cucumber, tomatoes, and cabbage. A dimension where nothing is as it seems. You are entering the Veggie Zone. Larry, will you stop that? And will somebody please turn on these lights? Ooh, that's bright. Larry, you're giving the kids the wrong idea about Veggie Town. This is a place full of fun! A place where we talk about following God in our everyday lives. You mean, it's not a spooky place? Of course not. But what about that corner under the stairs in your basement? That's pretty spooky. No, it's not. But once I saw a Dutch Bunny there, 
A dust bunny? What's so scary about that? He had long teeth and big claws. He did not. Well, maybe short teeth and icky fingernails. You're making this up. Besides, the kids aren't going to my basement. They're going to all the fun, bright, exciting places in Veggie Town, like the store at the mall and the... Ooh, can I come too? Well, sure. Come on. Um, there's just one more thing I have to do. What's that? There are a million stories in Veggie Town. This has been one of them. Larry, let's go! Sorry. See you in Veggie Town, kids. Kids, welcome to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And I'm very excited. Well, why is that? Because I'm gonna be the mayor of Veggie Town. I have a great campaign song. Wanna hear it? Sure. Vote for me, vote for me, vote for me, vote for me, uh, vote uh, for uh, me. Th that's not very catchy, Larry. Uh, besides, you have to tell people why they should vote for you. No problema. How's this? Vote for me, or you'll be sorry, cause I'll put mustard in your oatmeal, make noises like a sick cat while you try to sleep. For, 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 forget the song, Larry. What's your platform? My what? Where do you stand? Um, right here, I guess. I mean, where do you stand on the issues? Uh, if I stand on them, won't they get squished? And nobody likes a squishy issue, Bob. Larry, do you even know what the mayor of Veggie Town does? No. Larry, I don't think you're quite ready to run for mayor. You need to know how Veggie Town works. But cheer up, you can run again when you've learned about Veggie Town. So let's join the kids and get started. Okay, Bob. Hey, maybe I can run for Tooth Fairy instead. I need some new specimens for my molar collection. Bob? Bob? Hey, kids, welcome to... Excuse me, I'll handle this. Welcome to Veggie World. I'm Larry the Cucumber. Whoa, 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 hold on. Did you say Veggie World? Correct, sir. But this is Veggie Town. Not anymore, Bob. Veggie Town is about to become Veggie World, a property of the Withy Entertainment Group. It's becoming a theme park? Right, Bob. Okay, kids. Get your money ready. Larry, you can't charge kids to get into Veggie Town. Well, that's ridiculous. No, that's business. Larry, people can't pay to see the church construction site. Gone, Bob. It'll be the Junior Asparagus Tower of Doom. What about the school? Now, the Nebby K. Nether Stunt Show. Larry, this is Veggie Town, our home. But with the entertainment gave me lots of money. Well, not exactly. More like two lollipops and a set of Partridge Family plastic cups. But Larry, you don't own Veggie Town. It belongs to all of us. Uh-oh. Do I have to give the lollipops back? I already ate one. Larry, you need to let us in now. We have to get started on another great day in Veggie Town. Well, okay, kids. You can come on in. See you in Veggie World. That's Veggie Town, Bob. Oops. Right. Hi, kids. Welcome to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato, and this is... Larry? Uh, Larry, where are you? Here I am, Bob. What's with the outfit? I'm ready to learn how to take a vacation. Vacation? You can't go on vacation. We need to introduce these kids to Veggie Town. I thought you said we were going to go to vacation school to learn how to take a vacation. This isn't vacation school. This is where kids come to have fun while learning about God. Hmm. Having fun while learning about God. That sounds a lot like vacation Bible school, Bob. It is vacation Bible school, Larry. Oh. Well, goodbye, kids. Have fun in Veggie Town. See ya. Hey, Bob. If we're going to VBS, will I still need to wear suntan lotion? It makes me smell like a coconut. 
bad. Hi, kids, and welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. So, what's the occasion? Oh, well, since all week we're learning about values on the job, I thought I should get a job. Larry, it takes more than wearing a tie to get a job. Really? Like what? Well, you have to answer questions at an interview. Ooh, questions. I'm good at questions. Ask me a question. Okay. Do you have any experience? Hmm. Well, once in science class, I blew up a test tube and made a lizard turn blue. Uh, that's an experiment. I asked you if you had any experience. Maybe. What's experience? Have you done this job before? What job? The job I'm asking you about. What job is that, Bob? It's... Ah... Uh, I don't remember. Maybe you shouldn't ask the questions, Bob. Hmm. Goodbye, kids, and have a great day in Veggie Town. Say goodbye, Bob. I, uh, uh, goodbye. Hello, kids, and welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here... Uh, Larry, you want to tell the kids why you have an oven mitt on your head? I've got a new job, Bob. I'm a cook. A cook? Oven mitts are very important in the kitchen. Safety first. Yeah, but you don't wear an oven mitt on your head. You wear oven mitts on your hands. I don't have any hands. As I was saying, we're here to welcome you to another day in Veggie Town, where you'll learn that any job you do can glorify God when you follow what the Bible says. We're not learning about eating? N not really, Larry. We're learning about values on the job. Oh, well then maybe we can learn about value meals. And if the kids pay an extra 50 cents, they can get a supersized lesson. We're not learning about eating. Can I teach the kids how to chew without moving your jaw? Larry! How about how to use a fork to eat soup? Have a fun time in Veggie Town, kids! Or maybe how to suck spaghetti through a straw. Oh, brother. Welcome back to Veggie Town, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Psychiatrist. Yeah, Larry the Psychiatrist? Yep. You see, Bob, I want to help people. Good for you. I'd like to start with you, Bob. Uh, not now, Larry. Uh, kids, I think you're going to have a lot of fun today. Bob? Yes, Larry? I think it would be nicer if you sat on the couch. Why's that? It would be cozier. Oh, okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, kids, you're going to have lots of fun How do you feel about that, Bob? Uh, about what? About the kids having fun. Are you jealous? What? No, why would I be jealous? Hmm, fascinating. Larry, are you trying to psychoanalyze me? I don't know what that means. Are you trying to be a psychiatrist with me? Hmm, interesting. Are you afraid of psychiatrists, Bob? Have fun in Veggie Town, kids. How do you feel about waffles? Bob? Welcome back to Veggie Town, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato and Ta -da! Introducing the world's newest superhero! Sanny Boy! Sanny Boy? That's right, Bob. Short for Sanitary Boy. Watch this. Larry, you're making a mess. No, I'm making an unmess. <gasps> ah! Oops. Sorry. Be careful with that thing. Don't worry, Bob. It's antibacterial. Yeah, well, so is a blowtorch. Anyway, I think your work here is done, Sanny boy. 
Have fun today, kids. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower. Stay tuned for the further adventures of Fanny Boy. Where there is dust, I'll bust it. Where there is grime, I'll... Larry! That's Fanny Boy! Hello, kids, and welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato, and this is uh, uh, Larry. Incoming! <laughs> Larry! Sorry, Bob. I have to work on my aim. What are you doing? Well, I thought I could get a job delivering newspapers. But why did you throw the newspaper? I'm testing my new delivery system, the official Larry Brand Aerodynamic Paper Projectile Impeller. Isn't that a slingshot? No. It's an official Larry Brand aerodynamic paper projectile impeller. Oh. Well, uh, uh, anyway, I'm not sure that you should be throwing papers around like that. Oh. Too hard, right? That's right. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, kids, welcome back to Veggie Town, where you will learn that in any job you can bring glory to God. All you have to do is follow what the Bible tells us. Isn't that right, Larry? Incoming! <laughs> is that better? Yeah. Greetings, kids, and welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber, and I'll be taking your order today. Taking your what? Uh, Larry, what are you up to? I have a new job, Bob. I'm opening up my own fast food restaurant. Do you know anything about fast food? Sure I do, and my restaurant will be unique. How's that? We'll be the only ones selling Larry's special deep fried peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. Peanut butter and jellyfish? Sure. Would you like fries with that? Not right now, Larry. You see, the kids are about to start their day at Veggie Town, where we learn that in any job we can please God, as long as we do what the Bible says. Kids, would you like a deep fried peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich for a snack? I may need to rethink my menu. While he does that, you have a good time in Veggie Town. See you soon. Say, Bob, I might have an opening for a short order cook, and you're short. Larry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, kids, for another exciting time in Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato, and this here is Larry the Cucumber. Howdy, partners! Well, uh, howdy, partners? I'm practicing my cowboy talk, Bob. I'm trying to get a job as a cowboy. A cowboy? Well, Larry, have you ever even been around a cow? A cow? Uh, no. Why? Do I need cow experience? Well, cowboys work with cows. You rope them and uh, herd them and uh, things like that. Really? Wow. But they're so, I don't know, big. What were you expecting? I don't know. I was thinking me and the cows could roast marshmallows. Anyway, we should welcome the kids back to Veggie Town. That's right. This is where we learn that in any job we do, we can please God. If we do what the Bible says. Bob? Uh, yeah, Larry? Maybe if we did roast marshmallows, the cows wouldn't get mad when I rope them. Get along, little doggy. Hello, kids, and welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Rocket Boy Larry. Rocket Boy Larry? It's my new title. I have a job as a space explorer. Well, what kind of job is that? I fly around in my spaceship and, well, explore. New worlds, that is. And new life forms. And new civilizations. What kind of life forms? Wild, exotic, weird life forms, like eggplants, rutabagas, sarsaparilla, and sassafras. Larry, you can find all those things right here on Earth. Really? So, I don't need a spaceship? No, you don't. 
Well, if I don't need my spaceship, I should move it. It's double parked out front. Wanna fly it with me? Uh, Larry, I don't think your spaceship can really fly. Then you don't wanna fly it with me? No. Okay. Goodbye! Well, kids, I hope you have fun in Veggie Town where. See you later, Bob! I don't believe it. Uh, goodbye, kids! Uh, Larry, wait! Hello, kids. And welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. Oh, Larry, I'm guessing that you're dressed up like that because you have a new job. That's right, Bob. I'm working in construction. I have a new job with Arthur Artichoke's Architectural Associates. Try saying that three times fast. Well, good for you, Larry. And on my job, I'm learning to use all the lessons we've been studying in VBS about how we can please God in any job we do as long as we do what the Bible tells us. Well, that's great, Larry. But why don't you tell the kids about your new job? Love to, Bob. Well, kids, I wear this tool belt so my tools will always be handy. And the hard hat? Hard hat? That thing on your head. It isn't a hard hat, Bob. It's a batter's helmet. What? In case I want to go hit some baseballs after work, Philly. Oh, uh, of course. Well, gotta go to work. Have a great day in Veggie Town, kids. What was I thinking? Hi, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato. Welcome to Veggie Town, a place where. Bob, stop! Don't move! What? You're gonna step on my collection! I don't see anything. Of course you don't. It's invisible. What kind of collection is invisible? A hole collection. Holes? But Larry, why would you collect holes? Because I want to be holy. But that's not what... Careful, Bob. One more step and you'll be standing on holy ground. That one over there? From an old sock. I see. No, you don't. It's invisible. Uh, Larry, this is crazy. Uh, collecting holes doesn't make you holy. It doesn't? No. Being holy means special, set apart for God. You mean like the Holy Bible? Well, yes, but people can be holy too. They can? How? To find that out, let's go with the kids to Veggie Town. Not that way, Bob. There's a yeah! hole there. A big one. Found it in the middle of the street. Larry! Don't worry. I'll just go over here and I. Oh, Larry! Let me out of here! As soon as I get out of here! Funny, I don't remember this one. Well, kids, it looks like you'll have to go on to Veggie Town without us. Hello, rabbit. Hey, kids, I'm Bob the Tomato. Welcome to another exciting day of... Quiet on the set! We're about to record the first episode of my brand new TV show, Everybody Loves Larry. What? Starring VeggieTown's best love personality, me. Now, just read your lines from the cue cards, Bob. You're playing the part of the gruff but lovable English butler. Uh, Larry, I... Remember, not... Bob, English butler. Gruff, but... Lovable. Right. Rolling! Action! Bob, that's your cue. Oh. <laughs> Why, looky here. It's everybody's favorite cucumber, Larry. <clears throat> so, English butler, I once had a bird named Enza. I opened the door and in flew Enza. Get it? Influenza. See? I told you they love me. Oh, Larry, those people weren't really clapping for you or laughing at your jokes. They're just sounds on a tape. You mean everybody doesn't love Larry? Well, a lot of people love you, Larry. But the important thing is that someone dearly loves you. you really? Who? God. 
He loves each of us. We're learning in Veggie Town that he has a special place in his heart for every one of the kids out there. So what do you say we cancel this TV sitcom and follow the boys and girls? Well, okay. But first, let's do the scene where you clean the chickens out of the toilet. I don't think so. Are you ready? Yep. Did you set the timer? Uh-huh. Hey, where'd you get that shirt? Aunt Ruth. She sent it with a note saying to clothe myself in compassion, like it says in the Bible. Cute. Oh, wait. <sighs> Great. And now I have to set the timer again. She also sent these. Uh, Larry, clothed in compassion means your mind should be surrounded with compassion. The Bible is talking about how other people see you. Ah, I wasn't looking. Thanks a lot, Larry. We'll never get this picture taken. Gee, Bob, seems to me you could use a little compassion. Oh, <laughs> well, I, uh... I'll show you compassion by setting the timer for you. Uh... Uh, be careful, Larry. That camera is pretty expensive. Oops. Bob, do you think you could show me a little compassion? I'll try, Larry. Hi, kids. Uh, while I wait for Larry, why... Ooh, cheeseburgers! My favorite. Why are they all on one plate? Well, it's in honor of Veggie Town values for the family. I ordered family style. Ooh, family style. What's that? Well, it, it means we share. Oh. Um, okay. Hey, isn't that Aunt Ruth over there? What? Where? Uh, I don't see her. Hmm. I must have been mistaken. Well, so. Which value are we learning about? Oh, uh, kindness. You see... Wow! Isn't that Tom Cruise? What? Really? Where? Hey! Have you been eating all the cheeseburgers? Um, yeah. Sorry. I guess I wasn't being very kind. I was just hungry. Kindness is important. Uh, the boys and girls are learning that in Veggie Town. You're right. From now on, I'll be kind. No matter what. Are you gonna eat that last cheeseburger? Hi, Bob. What you doing? Oh, hi, Larry. I'm using the computer to look up my family tree. Good idea, Bob. Since we're learning about Veggie Town values for the family, I know all about my family tree. My great-great-great-uncle Lucas invented the phonograph, the light bulb, and the motion picture projector. I thought that was Thomas Edison. Then there was my grandfather's cousin, Laurie the Cucumber. She was the first man to walk on the moon. Uh, Larry, that was Neil Armstrong. Um... Larry, you don't have to be ashamed if your background is, well, uh, humble. I don't? No! Being humble is good. It's much better than bragging and pretending you're better than other people. It is? Sure. Well, that's one of the things we're learning in Veggie Town, that God likes humility. Maybe we'd better join the kids in Veggie Town and start learning. I'd be proud to. I mean, I humbly accept your invitation. See you in Veggie Town, kids. Hi, kids. Welcome back to Veggie Town. I'm Bob the Tomato, and this is... Dr. Larry M.D. You can tell I'm a doctor by this doctor thingy on my head and this telescope around my neck. Uh, Larry, well, what are you doing? Bruises are my specialty. I'm going to examine you, Bob. This won't hurt a bit. Well, <laughs> you won't need to see me, then. I don't have a single bruise. I'll be the judge of that. Ow! Well, maybe a tiny bit. Ow! Now, Bob, that didn't hurt. I didn't feel a thing. Ow! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Up. When you said bruises were your specialty, did you mean curing them or giving them? Um, 
I'm not sure. I, I missed that day in medical school. Well, <laughs> uh, let's not miss a day in Veggie Town where the boys and girls can learn about gentleness. And one of us needs to learn that lesson, too. By one of us, do you mean you? Uh, no, I mean you. <laughs> so let's go, okay? Just as soon as I take that splinter out of your nose. What? No! Well, hi, Larry. Are you ready for another exciting day in Veggie Town? You go on without me. I'll just stay here and vegetate. Oh, well, why so glum, Larry? I can't be a doctor without patients. Why don't you have patients? I don't know. They all come for one visit, but they don't come back. Oh, well, well maybe it's your bedside manner. Here, show me how you talk to a patient. Okay. <clears throat> now, listen up, patient. I said, get on that table. Stick out your tongue, will ya? Say, ah. That'll be $59.95. Uh, Larry, I think I know what the problem is. You don't have any patients. I know that, Bob. No, I mean you need more patients. That's what I said. No, patients, Larry, as in you're being impatient. Instead of rushing, you need to be more patient with, uh, your patients. Oh, I get it. But how can I learn about being patient? Well, in Veggie Town, Larry. Well, that's something the boys and girls are learning. Well, I want to learn about it, too. Let's go, Bob. Get a move on. Hurry up. Uh, patience, Larry. Patience. Oh, right. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. For my next number, I'd like to sing... Wait, wait, your next number? Larry, this isn't a concert. It's our welcome to Veggie Town. Well, today it's a musical welcome, Bob. And since the kids are learning about friendship, I'd like to sing a little song called Friends Are Friends Forever. Oh, Larry, we can't use that song. It belongs to Michael W. Smith. Um, well, then I'll use my own song. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, a different song about friends. <clears throat> I've got a friend. His name is Bob. Let's not pretend that he's not a slob. Hey! He's round and red as a big balloon. He eats hot fudge with a serving spoon. He smells a lot like a wet raccoon. He's my friend Bob. Hey! My friend Bob. Hey! I like that hey part, Bob. Adds a Russian calypso touch. Larry, how could you sing that way about a friend? Well, why can't you be more thoughtful? Like, uh, uh, Michael W. Smith? That would be copyright infringement, Bob. Well, let's go to Veggie Town, Larry. Uh, learning about friendship would do us all some good. Okay, Bob. My friend Bob looks like a blob. Hey! Has a complexion like corn on the cob. Welcome back, kids. Today in Veggie Town, we're gonna. Hi, Bob. <laughs> do you like my new hat? I'm gonna be the Odd Father. Uh, the Odd Father? What's that? Why, he's the head of the family, Bob. And since we're learning about Veggie Town values for the family. Wait, 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 Larry, not that kind of family. You're talking about being a gangster. No, no, Bob. I simply do favors. Like what? Like, if a bully is giving you a hard time, I see that he wakes up with a head of lettuce on the foot of his bed. Lettuce? Or if somebody steals your lunch money, I send someone over to his house to, uh, break all his graham crackers. Uh, Larry, uh, that's getting revenge. God doesn't want us to get revenge. He wants us to forgive. Even our enemies? That's right. Oh, well, then on to Veggie Town. Larry, you're a dill I can't refuse. I'm a what? Uh, never mind. Hi, kids, and welcome to... You know, Bob, I think you need a makeover. Uh, uh, a makeover? Nothing personal, Bob, but you need a new look. L Larry, I, I like my old look. My friends love me just the way I am. How could they? That look is so 20th century. Now, just keep your eye on Cordy. Why? It's a virtual makeover, Bob. Watch the screen, and we'll try out your new look. Okay. How about... 
A mustache. Eh. And a toupee. I don't think so, Larry. Okay, a smaller mustache and a larger toupee. Eh. And a monocle and big ears. Uh, that's enough, thank you. And a beauty mark and an eye patch. Ah. Oops. Never mind, Larry. <clears throat> like I said, my friends love me just the way I am. And that's how God loves us and how he wants us to love each other. Well, I guess that's our cue to go to Veggie Town. Forget the makeover. Right. I was starting to feel like, uh, Mr. Tomato Head. Mr. Tomato Head. What a great idea, Bob. Let's turn you into a licensed character. Your face will be on paper plates and pencil toppers, and people will love you even more. That'll <sighs> eh, never happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Hi, kids. Welcome to Jonah's Overboard Adventure. We're going to learn to walk in God's ways. Uh, I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. W well, there's no need to hide it, Larry. We want everybody to know we're making our first big movie. On the big screen. Um, Bob, now everybody will be able to see my mole. Uh, don't worry, Larry. Uh, they have makeup to take care of those things. Oh, good. Just think, Bob. We're making a movie about Jonah, the incredible story of a man who swallowed a whale. Uh, Larry, I think you're mixed up. Am not. Uh, Larry, Jonah didn't swallow a whale. Did too. Uh, okay, let's ask the expert. Uh, Archibald Asparagus, who's gonna play Jonah in the movie. He's in his dressing room. Hey, Archibald! Uh, yes? Did Jonah swallow a whale? What? That's preposterous! I've never heard such a ridiculous fabrication in my life! Yes or no? No! The whale swallowed Jonah, and not the other way around. Thanks, Archibald. Uh, see, Larry? I thought for sure Jonah swallowed something. Maybe it was a goldfish. I know. It's hard to admit when you're wrong, but even Jonah learned how important it is to do that. Uh, okay, Archibald. It's time to come out. Uh, they're ready for you on the set. I'm staying right here, thank you. S staying? Why? I'm not all that fond of being swallowed by a whale. Uh, well, it looks like we have a little negotiating to do. Are you sure they're gonna be able to hide this thing? All right, Archibald, uh, come out of your dressing room so you can play Jonah in our new movie. Absolutely not. Being swallowed by a whale is much too risky. Find a stunt asparagus. That's okay, Bob. While we're waiting for Archibald, let me welcome you to my Veggie Tales memorabilia auction. Yeah, uh, auction? Just look at these priceless memories around us, Bob. Here's a piece of chewing gum used by the Peony Brothers in that epic veggie classic, Esther, the girl who became queen. And the Larry Boy helmet from Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. Uh, Larry? Now, how much would you pay for a jelly donut only partially eaten by Jerry Gord on the set of Dave and the Giant Pickle? Uh, partially eaten? Do I hear 25? 38? Seventy-seven and a half? Seventy-seven and a half? <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. You smush it, you buy it, Bob. Larry, it was an accident. Doesn't matter. Uh, but I don't have seventy-seven dollars. Uh, that's seventy-seven million dollars. What? It's a very rare donut. But I don't have that kind of money. You gotta show some mercy, Larry. Mercy, eh? How much you give me for it? Mercy is free, Larry. And just as God shows us mercy, we need to be merciful to others. Oh. Hey, that's what Jonah learned. Oh, all right. Mercy granted. 
You can keep your 77 million. Uh, gee, thanks, Larry. Uh, now, would you help me get Archibald out of his dressing room? Sure. But, uh, would you mind scraping the jelly off the floor? All right, Archibald. We've had enough of this nonsense. You come out of your dressing room this instant. No! I won't be in your Jonah movie. Not if I have to get swallowed by a whale. Quack. Uh, Larry, Quack. that's not very compassionate. Quack. You're gonna hurt Archibald's feelings. It's called tough love, Bob. Quack. Stop it! Ah! Lights! Hmm. Uh, maybe they blew a fuse on the movie set. Bob, you know how I get when the lights go out. I'm... I'm... Uh, afraid of the dark? I'm just more of a day person. Buck, 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 buck. That's, that's not very compassionate. Exactly. Oh, I see the error of my ways. I'll change. I'll become the most compassionate cucumber ever. If only the lights would come on, I'd... Oh. Well, uh, now you can start being compassionate, Larry. Uh, just like God was to Jonah. Bob, were you the one who... It's called tough love, Larry. Uh, Bob? Uh, yeah, Larry. I figured out how to get Archibald out of his dressing room so he can play Jonah in our new movie. Well, how? By giving him courage. Oh, great thinking, Larry. Uh, maybe you can slip some under his door. Not a bad idea, Bob. But I had something else in mind. Oh, Archibald! I'm not coming out, and you can't make me! Fear not! I'm gonna inspire you with courageous heroes from the silver screen. Uh, Larry? Dum da dum 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 da dum. I'm Indiana Larry. Sorry, not inspirational. The name's Bond, Larry Bond. Uh, no, and that's a terrible British accent. Archibald needs a hero. I am that hero. I'm afraid not. Uh, I mean, I am afraid. Still. It's okay, Larry. Real courage doesn't come from watching movie heroes. It comes from believing God. Uh, that's what Jonah learned. Oh, good. I had no idea how I was going to fit in that lassie costume. Larry, how are we going to convince Archibald to come out of his dressing room? I don't know. I think he's afraid that a whale's going to swallow him. Uh, Larry, a, a whale is going to swallow him. That's what happened to Jonah. Oh, well, no wonder he doesn't want to come out. Yeah, but he doesn't have to be afraid. He just needs to trust and obey God. I heard that! No, it's true. Just trust and obey. That's easy for you to say. You don't have to do anything dangerous. Kids, I'm Bob. Bob, Bob, what are we gonna do? Uh, about getting Archibald to come out of his dressing room? Well, uh... No, 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 I mean about the water. What water? I don't see any water. Exactly. How are we gonna make a movie about Jonah without any water? Larry, I'm sure that we... We'll have to get all the kids to pray for water. A whole ocean of water. Well, uh, okay, but I'm not sure it'll do any good if uh, Archibald doesn't come out of his dressing room. Well, then, we'll have to pray for that too, Bob. You'll pray, won't you, kids?
Archibald, please come out of the dressing room. If you don't come out, how can you share God's love with others in our new movie? Uh, I'll send them a valentine. Now leave me alone. Hmm. I have an idea. Uh-oh. Archibald, if you come out and share God's love by playing Jonah, I'll share something with you. Really? What would that be? My giant super jumbo movie popcorn. Uh, oh, my. Uh, did, did you get extra butter? Extra butter? Um, just a minute. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on out there? Uh, it's nothing, Archibald. Larry's just a little uh, buttery. Buttery? You're supposed to get the butter on the popcorn, not yourself. Oh, like I didn't know that. The deal is off. I'm not coming out. Nice going, Larry. Whoa! How about some salt? You want some salt? You know, Bob, I've been thinking. Oh, that's nice. It's about Jonah. He learned that God wanted him to be a servant, right? He sure did. Then one of us should be a servant to Archibald. Since he's afraid to do his own stunt in our new movie, he needs a stunt double. Uh, a stunt double? You know, a person who does all the dangerous stuff in his place. Then he'll come out of his dressing room. Uh, Archie did mention that before. You know, that could work. Thanks for volunteering. What, me? Uh, we need to rethink this idea. Uh, uh, can I serve Archibald in some other way? Archibald, are you ready to come out of your dressing room and play Jonah in our new movie yet? I'm, uh, busy right now. Busy? Doing what? I'm, uh, in the bathtub. Yeah, that's it. I'm in the bathtub, practicing for the big storm scene. Uh, the big storm scene? Oh, yes! Uh, uh, look at those rolling waves! Help! Help! Blub! Blub! Hey! Wait a minute. You have a bathtub in your dressing room? Uh, yes. It's about the size of a tub and filled with, a uh, bath. I don't have a bathtub in my dressing room. Bob, this isn't fair. Now, Larry... I want a bathtub in my dressing room. I'm as big a star as Archibald is. Uh, Larry, I... I guess the producers don't care whether I'm attached to this project or not. Where's my agent? Agent? What agent? Larry, calm down. You need to remember something Jonah had to learn. What's that? To walk with God even when you're angry. But, but... You're right, Bob. I'll go calm down in my dressing room. I'll just go in there and shut the door and use the bowling alley. Uh, the what? The bowling alley. See you later, Bob. He has a bowling alley in his dressing room? But I don't have a bowling alley in my dressing room. Hey, I want to talk to my agent. Uh, what are you doing? Well, Bob, if Archibald is never coming out of his dressing room, we've got to take matters into our own hands, so to speak. Uh, what do you mean? Well, we have to get someone else to play Jonah in our new movie. Someone named me. Jonah spent some time in the water. Uh, Larry? It's okay, Bob. I already have it memorized. <clears throat> Your part? No, my acceptance speech for the Academy Awards. You like me. You really, really like me. Uh, Larry, that's a... Uh... I'd like to thank all the little people whose names I can't remember. Larry. And so I accepted Best Actor and Lifetime Achievement Award, recognizing that once in a generation there comes an actor whose body of work embodies an entire body of water. Larry. 
I think you're forgetting something that Jonah discovered. Oh? What's that? That it's important to praise God. You're just praising yourself. Yeah, but... Huh? What was that? It's Archibald! He's come out of his dressing room! That's it! I cannot stand another minute of this! Archibald, are you gonna be Jonah after all? Yes! I can't let him do it! Did you hear that speech? Well, yes. The only thing he has in common with Jonah is going overboard! We're glad you're back, Archibald, aren't we, Larry? Um, can pirates win best supporting actor? Uh, we'll find out, Larry. Uh, we'll all find out a lot in the story of Jonah. Yeah, like how it feels to be whale chow. What? What did he say? Oh, nothing. <laughs>